Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is April 16, 2021, Friday of the second week of Easter. The Gospel said, Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. The first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, fellow children of Israel, Be careful what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, Theudas appeared, claiming to be someone important. And about four hundred men joined him, but he was killed. And all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas the Galilean at the time of the census. He also drew people after him. But he too perished and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men, and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged, ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus, and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Christ, Jesus. Responsorial Psalm One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord. This I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. All the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord, and contemplate his temple. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord. In the land of the living, wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel according to John. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him. Because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick, Jesus went up on the mountain. And there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, 200 days wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what good are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place. So the men reclined, about five thousand in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over, so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them, and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. 
Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. Reflection The multiplication of bread and fish is a preparation for the gift which God gives in Christ at the Eucharistic banquet. The Paschal feast is near, the atmosphere is one of expectation, wonder and peace. The people had come a long way to listen to Jesus, they needed rest and food. All the suffering, pain and anguish of our life's journey seem to disappear in the serene presence and peace of Christ. He knows what he is going to do. He takes bread and fish, offers them to the Father and gives thanks. Thus nature is brought back to the Creator, human work is referred to God who grants him to do it. Our efforts and our fatigue are offered to the love of God who grants him to do it. Our efforts and our fatigue are offered to the love of God. Our little offering is multiplied and returned to us, our fatigue is lightened. The bread Jesus offers is a sign and guarantee of eternity. That's the end of the reflection from the Catholic Missal. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.